Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to show you guys how to get started with the new day sequence plugin inside of Unreal Engine 5.5. Essentially, the day sequence plugin is the new built-in day and night cycle inside of Unreal Engine 5.5. It requires a very simple setup and you can quickly get up and running with your own day and night cycle. There are many different settings that you can customize like the day length, the time of day, and much more. And it is fully multiplayer replicated out of the box. So if you're making multiplayer games, this plugin is for you. Now, if you guys enjoy this this free tutorial make sure that you leave a like and consider subscribing i've been uploading new unreal engine 5.5 tutorials my previous video shows you how to get started with megalites in unreal engine 5.5 so if you haven't watched that one yet you can check it out link in the description also if you want to learn more about game development in unreal engine 5 check out some of my courses on my website where you can learn how to make all sorts of different games i have a multiplayer survival game course up on there as well as a mobile game course so yeah check out those courses on my website smartpoly.teachable.com or find the link in the description below. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so the first thing that you'll need to do to get started with the day sequence plugin is first, you'll need to have Unreal Engine 5.5 downloaded and installed. Currently, I have 5.5 Preview 1 downloaded and installed. Basically, it's like the beta version or the early access version. But if you do not have this, you can just click on this plus icon for engine versions and then select the 5.5 Preview 1. All right, so once you have Unreal Engine 5.5, you can create any sort of project. In my case, I created the third person template. Now to go ahead and get started with the day sequence plugin, basically, we want Want to go to edit plugins and search for day sequence and you're going to see the day sequence plugin right here experimental so let's go ahead and hit the checkbox it's going to tell us that it's experimental we'll click yes and then we want to go ahead and restart our editor so just click restart so once it's gone ahead and restarted now we can go ahead and actually create a new level so let's go to file new level and i'm going to create an open world map so select that and so now that we're in here basically we want to go ahead and delete all the lighting so shift select the directional light, the exponential height fog, sky atmosphere, all of that, and just delete it. And we can save our level. And then we can go to the Q plus icon under all and search for a day sequence. And we have this sun, moon, day sequence actor. So we're going to drag and drop that into level. And now you can see that it automatically adds this new day sequence, which we can see the sun is slowly rising. Well, you want to actually take this and make sure that you reset the location so it's set to zero zero and then we can actually start playing around with the settings so in the details with the sun moon day sequence actor selected over here in the details you're going to notice that it already has a sun component moon component which are directional lights the exponential height fog sky atmosphere skylight sky sphere so it has all of those things that we just deleted so we don't need to actually place anything other than just this sun moon day sequence actor now as for settings that we can customize if you go ahead and reselect the actor you can set the time of day manually by using this scrubber so you can see we can set it to something like noon but we can also set it to like 5 a.m or 3 p.m whichever time you want you can hit play and that will go ahead and play the day, the time of day. So you can go ahead and actually preview what it will look like. You can also change things like the day length and the time per cycle. So the day length is currently set to a 24 hour length. So basically it'll be 24 hours. That's how long the day is. And for the cycle, it's set to five minutes. So that means that the sun will go down and rise in five minutes. So what we can do is that we can actually tweak this down to say 30 seconds. And now if we go ahead and hit play, You'll notice that the sun is much faster. So let's go ahead and play in the game here. So the sun starts at about 6 a.m. And you can see that it'll take 30 seconds for it to cycle. So the sun will go down any minute now. Now it's setting. And then it should be dark. So this is what the nighttime looks like. We can adjust some of the settings because it doesn't really look like night. It's not really dark. And I'll show you guys the settings that I used here in a second to modify that. But any second now, the sun should be rising here. And there it is. So you can see the sun is rising again. And just a whole day cycle, which is 24 hours, is condensed to 30 seconds. So you can really play around with the time cycle. Now to adjust things like the night cycle. So if we set this to nighttime, let's put it to zero, zero. If we select the moon component, this is what controls basically the directional light during the nighttime. So we can adjust the intensity down to 0.01 and you'll notice that's a lot more darker during nighttime. There's other things that we can adjust, but this is just what I found uh, works best. 
So if we start off here, you can see that we have daytime and any minute now the sun will set and it should be completely dark because we adjusted the light and you can see that there's some stars. So we have some stars and this plugin is still experimental. So again, I can't really see the moon that well or the directional light. But as you can see, the sun is rising over there in the east, so it should rise any second. And there it is. And another thing to note is that this is completely replicated. So if we play this with actually two players and as listen server or client, if we go ahead and click play, you'll notice that the night cycle is completely replicated. So we can actually see the same thing on our screen the sun will set. So it's fully set up for multiplayer out of the box, which is just nice to see that Epic is supporting multiplayer for their new features, especially this day sequence. And any minute now the sun should rise, but you can really fully customize things like the lighting setup, the sun intensity, all of the settings, as well as the time of day. So you know how long you want your day night cycle to be. Also, you can update things like the interval, the update interval. It really just depends on your type of game. But that is pretty much it. That is the day sequence plugin inside of Unreal Engine 5.5, a new experimental feature that allows you to have a full dynamic day and night cycle that's fully replicated out of the box. I was very surprised to see this as a new feature at Unreal Fest this year. And this feature wasn't really mentioned at the keynote or anything. It was actually in a separate talk. But it's also featured on the roadmap as well as an experimental feature. So if you guys saw it on the roadmap, let me know down in the comments down below. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. What do you think about this new plugin? Is this something that you may be using in your games or in your films or whatever? Let me know down in the comments down below. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So check out my multiplayer courses on my website, smartpoly.teachable.com. And that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.